Micron starts off another earnings season with a decent result, but uh, as Charles Barkley would say, the guidance was terrible. Yeah, it uh, it was it was pretty bad, and you know I don't know if you're going to lead this one, but essentially, you know, I was completely um, expecting this. There were no surprises, and I think Wall Street expected it too because there was almost no movement in in after hours uh, on this. And, and listen, if you've been following semiconductors as long as we have, I've been following over 30 years. Uh, m- memory and storage are boom and bust markets. And we, it, it appears as, I wouldn't say we're going to a bust market and, I, and I'm kind of worried that Micron is overreacting by reducing its CapEx uh, so much because there will be a, a boom that, that will come back. And if we do a quick V-shaped curve uh, uh, out of this, you know, Micron might be cutting off its, um, you know, cutting off its future supply. The one thing that makes me feel really good, though, about Micron is that it's industry leading in what it does. So in memory, it is the leader in DDR5, and all server and all PC designs are going to DDR5. Uh, They're very well, um, you know, they are, by definition, the number one market share leader in automotive uh, as well. And then on storage, they have the highest density uh, or uh, megabit per, per bit uh, out there and highest density storage out there on the market. So those are some things when in comparison, if you look at maybe a, a Samsung or a Hynix uh, or somebody like that, uh, while the market might be down, uh, Micron's future, I think, uh, looks bright. Yeah, good hit, Pat. I mean, look, the Wall Street didn't expect quite what happened, but I think there's been so much selling that uh, nobody was super surprised. I think they had like a 60-ish cent uh, forecast from Wall Street and they came out with four cents earnings this next quarter. So it was, it was definitely down. Um, I think I what, why it didn't move though, what right? We don't, well, it's already so far down. I mean, I think to some extent, like, you know, it's like- That's what I mean, it was built in. Yeah, like people, people knew it. In bad news for a while now. I think, you know, a little bit of good news, we'll see a lot of upside in the near future. I think semis have booms and busts. I think. We are definitely in a bit of a holding pattern right now. I mean, Micron, Micron by the way, Micron's up 3% this morning. Yeah, well, the whole market's <laughs> up today. This is it, it is, but but when I look at the other semis, I mean, NVIDIA's up 3%. So Yeah, the whole market, the whole semi market's up today. It's, yeah. this, is all, this is all related to uh, retra- retracting yields on the bonds and some PCAE data that came out today. We're not even trading on individual company performance anymore. The whole market's moving based upon... Uh, the Fed, inflation, bonds, pol- global policy, et cetera. But here's the thing is tech is going to continue to be critical to our world. Memory, as long as compute continues to become uh, more required, you know, as compute scales and grows, memory has to scale and grow with it. Um, we know that Micron is very well positioned. They've diversified their business. They've gotten into automotive. They've gotten into data center. Um, of course, they've got a really strong business in mobile. I just think, like I said, I don't know if we'll get a V, Pat, but it may be a U. I think it's going to be a, maybe it'll be a V. I'd like a V personally, but, you know, uh, uh, maybe a prolonged U um, while we sort of wait to figure out what's going on in the world and the economy. But tech is not going to be any less important. All these tasks, AI, automation, all this stuff requires more and more and more and more compute. And with compute, you need memory, you need storage. These are the things that are going to come along with it. So, yes, pull back, yes. Uh, not looking great. This next earnings wave should be very interesting. But, you know, I've said that the last three, and they've all been a little better than I expected. So um, crossing my fingers because, you know, there is a lot of bad data out there. But you know what, Uh, Pat, we've been through this before. We'll get through it again. And semis will continue to eat the world.